Hey guys, I did want to film a quick like after Christmas video for you guys I know I did film a Christmas video for you guys that went up on Christmas. We made paw print ornaments this year So I thought that was kind of fun I did that with my friend Michaela and her service dog Toby. That was really fun So go check that out if you haven't already. I'll put it in the iCard up here if you haven't already seen it um, but today I kind of want to do something that is a little more after Christmasy since it is after Christmas <laughs> Uh, it is New Year's Eve right now. Um, I was going to go do something today. We had a different video planned. I had a vlog planned with a friend, but um, stuff got in the way. So this is what we're doing instead. <laughs> Down in the comments before I forget, uh, write what you and your dog got for Christmas. Let's do that. Okay, I'm just gonna talk about it kind of in order of like the Christmases I had because um, we have a couple Christmases every year. This was the first year that Charlie was here for one of my Christmases, so he was actually able to be here for like a family Christmas, which is really cool. Um, and then we had a larger family Christmas, which was like not just like my sisters, my stepsisters and stuff, but uh, and their children, but also aunts, uncles, stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna go over it in order of like when I received things, I guess. Um, the first thing that I got uh, is actually my camera. Uh, this camera is the Canon PowerShot SX740HS. Um, I am very excited to have this camera. It is really nice. It's all Bluetooth enabled and everything, so I don't even have to plug it into anything in order to be able to transfer things from my camera to my phone or my computer. Um, it's really great. It's been really helpful so far um, just by like being easy for me to use because basically I've just been testing it out mostly. I haven't really been able to use it for anything yet, but um, so far uh, it's been amazing. It's been really uh, it's been a really nice camera. So this present was from um, my mother and Charlie went half and half on it. Um, this didn't come with my camera and it wasn't necessarily a Christmas present, but um, my mom gave me this nice little camera bag for it. The inside has like a padded pouch. This is just the thing that it came with. But it's okay. um, and then a little pouch in the front, which I've been keeping my instruction booklet and the charger for the battery. So. So, the camera was kind of my big thing from like my mom and, 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 uh, and Charlie, but Charlie also did give me a yuck harness. Um, I am making a video for the box opening for that, but basically it came out wrong. I received it and it's the wrong color and the pull strap is the wrong size. So I'm going to wait to show you guys that because I still have the one that's wrong and I haven't received the one that's right yet, so yeah. That video will come out later. All explanations will happen, I promise. Then my sisters also got me these really cute um, pajamas. They've got little stars, which everybody knows I love stars, and then little Scotties on them. Um, my step family, like my stepdad's side of the family, um, they are not dog people. Like, it's not that they. At least my step family, not including my stepdad, doesn't. They, it's not like they don't like dogs. They they don't seem to mind them, but they're not like educated. <laughs> they see a black dog and they think that it looks like Arlo. <laughs> so it's very sweet. I think these are really cute. I haven't had a chance to try them on yet, but I think those are adorable. They also got me this shirt, which I really like. I think this is an adorable shirt. It says, my dog thinks I'm kind of a big deal, and he probably does. I'm pretty sure he thinks I'm a pretty big deal. So they got me this shirt as well. This is a really cute shirt. My mother got me a new pair of dog nail clippers. Those are outside, not very exciting, just a pair of Amazon nail clippers. Um, my other ones recently broke, so getting a new pair was really nice. Um, and she also got me a set of grooming combs. So. 
Um, and again, just some Amazon grooming combs, nothing really special or anything. But um, I'm a fan of them. They're very nice. This is just a plastic one. But they're like little flea comb style combs, um, which basically the, the um, order I do on Arlo right now is like a regular comb, a slicker brush, and then a flea comb for the um, end with the end spray. So having these around is really helpful for different areas, especially since usually Michaela and I groom him together. Just more different flea style combs for depending on the day, what would be helpful in which situation. Um, a few different sizes and stuff like that. Um, and these are all just like an Amazon generic brand. This one's a little longer. But the nice thing about these is the tines are really thick so they're not gonna bend or break. I bought a um, flea comb. My only flea comb that I have right now is from Walmart and the tines keep breaking off, which is really frustrating. This is the one I was really excited for as this boy. Nice handle on it. Nice and thick, long, got a good got a good space on there, and then it's not definitely not gonna break. So really excited to have these combs. Um and the nail clippers, the nail clippers is also really nice. Well, um another thing that my mother got me is this this might seem like not a big deal to most people, but um this is a rechargeable battery pack. So it's got a rechargeable thing in there, so you plug it into the wall and then it's got a couple batteries with it. I sleep at night, I have to sleep with the light on. Um, the reasoning for that is I, I have um, a pretty big visual impairment and as someone who has a multiple, multitude of different disabilities that keep me up later into the night uh, and have things that basically I will be up at least once a night, um, use the bathroom and um, sometimes take a medication. So having a light on is kind of important um, because if I try and get out of bed, I will usually fall, especially with my current symptoms of other physical issues. So I usually have a light on. In my dorm, I have usually, and I bring them home during the summer, obviously. Uh, I have my favorite setup, which is uh, a bunch of LED candles all around my room. Um, so they're like little candles that are run by LED lights and um, they came with a little remote, so I can change their colors, I can make them turn off after eight hours, it's great, I love them. I can turn them on or off from my bed, which is perfect. Um, I can dim them or make them brighter, it's just, it's great. Wanted ones that like charged on a stand, I know there's a couple of those that do that, but when I wanted them, the ones that charged on a stand were really expensive. I got these candles when I was like 14. The candles I have now use batteries. They don't plug into like a stand or anything. So I've always been wanting like some rechargeable batteries so I don't have to keep buying batteries because um, batteries are expensive and it's not great to throw out all those batteries. Like not good for the environment. So rechargeable batteries, very excited about that. My siblings got me an extra pack to go with it. Um, if you guys don't know, I have two stepsisters, um, two living stepsisters and uh, two stepbrothers-in-law. Um, they're both married, and then I have a late stepsister, so she passed away um, a few years ago. Um, so they got me those. They also got me, I love this, this is so cute. Like, I, I, I love dog things. Like, you guys know, like, I, you know, I have tons of shirts that say dog step on them. Um, just in general, I have lots of, like, bedding and, you know, just random things, but I'm trying to build that because when I see something that has dogs on it, I'm more likely to use it, which I know sounds very silly, but it is true. Um, and they got me this mug. It says dog person. It has a bunch of different breeds on it. I'm a big fan. And right down there in the bottom, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little poodle and he's black, like Arlo. So I'm a big fan of this mug. It's like a really nice mug. It's like a good size too. Um, you can put it in the microwave, you can put it in the dishwasher, which is great because um, if you can't do that, I probably wouldn't use it. <laughs> but I think it's really cute and sweet and I'm so excited to use it um, with like tea and stuff like that. I drink a lot of tea, so that will definitely get used. Well, the last thing that I kind of got from this family Christmas was a lot of candy. Um, 
I <laughs> I tried to save it for this video, but I have been eating disorder, <laughs> so it's gone. Um, but I got a box of Milano cookies, like the raspberry and chocolate kind. Those are my favorite, um, like little sandwich cookies. Um, and then I got Jolly Rancher Chews, which are my favorite kind of candy. And I got mother and my stepdad make uh, homemade caramels. Um, they like actually like, you know, make it like in green, <laughs> however cooking works. Um, and they have to put it to the right temperature and the right part and it's a process. And then they wrap them individually in little things and they look like candy like you get in the store. And then they put them in like a package so it looks like candy you get in the store. It's crazy. They do that every year. Um, but they give a batch to uh, all the families. So this year, Charlie and I got a batch. So we got those. And then I got some other candy, like chocolate and just random stuff. Uh, that's gone because it is New Year's. Oh my gosh, it's January 1st right now. It's 12-12. It's past midnight, so what was I doing at midnight? Filming a video, sounds like my life. Um, anyway, so yeah, lots of candy, I got that. And then also for like that preliminary Christmas, um, I got this. This is a cardigan that Charlie got me. It is a really sweet cardigan. Um, it is really adorable and it's really soft. Um, I struggle really hard. If you guys don't know, I have I have autism, but then I also have sensory processing disorder um, going along with that. So um, things like this, I normally could not wear. <laughs> I have to. My arms have to be completely mobile. Usually, I can't have like long sleeves on that are tighter. They have to be really loose, really big. I wear big shirts a lot or tank tops basically um, because my arms are really sensitive, my wrists especially. So that sort of stuff as well as like itchy uh, sweaters, it's really hard for me. Um, I have to get sweaters that are like really smooth in order to wear them. Um, so this is from H&M. We went into H&M because um, Charlie and I's six year anniversary was uh, this past time he was staying here on December 18th. We, when we got together, we were going to go out um, to our favorite restaurant that is near where I live. And I didn't really have anything fancy because I've been gaining weight due to some of my illnesses recently. And I didn't have anything that fit that was fancy enough. So we went to H&M. I got two really soft t-shirts. I just need to shop at H&M more because the thing is, is the t-shirts they have there are so soft and just so, oh, they're so perfect. So I need to get more of those. Um, but he got me this. It was a little bit out of my price range, so he bought it for me. Um, but it's really soft. The sleeves are, they don't like, they're not really tight. They're kind of looser than the edges. I can stretch and open so that they aren't like too tight on my, um, on my wrists. It has pockets, although um, I didn't know that if you use the pockets then the whole thing hangs down. <laughs> So I looked kind of ridiculous for a little bit, but I figured it out. Um, I love this so much. It's really soft. It's warm. It's perfect. Um, as somebody who constantly wears sweatshirts, if you if you have ever seen a video of me, period, you'll you'll see I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Obviously not right now, but um, I wear sweatshirts constantly. They're everywhere in my house. They're all over my room. So whenever I get cold, there's a sweatshirt. Um, so my addiction to sweatshirts has kind of made it so I can't wear like fun over things like this. But this is perfect. I love it. I need to get more things like this so that I can kind of get out of my shell of just wearing sweatshirts. Um, so Charlie got me that. Get me the Yup Harness before, um, before this family Christmas. Um, I just didn't receive it until, I received it before the family Christmas, but since all that stuff is going on, I just, I'm not gonna show it because um, the one that I have isn't right and uh, I'll do a box opening video on it and stuff, but just in this video, like, Yup is handling it really well, so I don't want anyone to think that they're like a bad business or anything just because I tell you slash show you that their harness that they sent me is wrong. We ordered on Christmas, it's totally, well not on Christmas, but we ordered around Christmas time, expecting it around Christmas time, so 
I definitely was not expecting perfection. I mean, I was expecting it to be right, but like getting it wrong wasn't like totally heartbreaking to me, like because I kind of knew that maybe something would happen. So I'm glad that it happened to me, somebody who can contact them in a way that's like easy for me and not someone who um, might have more of an issue contacting them. Um, maybe they don't have access to a computer or something like that, but, and somebody else ordered it for them. Um, I'm glad that it happened to me because I can contact them and I can fix it instead of somebody else. So, how did your guys' Christmas orders from Yup go? Just curious. Um, one of my friends ordered and she got a completely different harness. <laughs> like, not even like the style she ordered. So, um, that's fun. That's a fun situation. Um, but I think, I think they're handling it okay. We'll see. Everybody cross your fingers. Um, that box opening I'm not going to post until I get the new harness. I'm going to put them together so that the whole story is there um, and the resolution is there so that people don't watch that video and think they're bad, like watch the first video and think they're a bad company and then have to go find the other video. So it's just easier that way. So um, for our bigger family Christmas, um, we don't get like as much. Um, we just sort of get things from like specific people. So what we do is we draw names and whoever's name you get it's in your generation so like my um my stepsisters are in my generation and um my nieces and nephews are in a lower generation so my nieces well i don't have any nephews but my nieces would likely get like their cousins or whoever else is in their generation um they would likely get um like across the family so i got someone who I'll be honest, I'm not sure how many um, But this is all my step family anyway. But, so I've only known them for a few years. Um, and I don't really know the big family yet. So, I don't really know how I'm related to him. But he was really nice. I got him a video game that he wanted. So, and then my person got me a couple things. It was really nice. So I will show you guys what they got me. So the first thing they got me is this really cute thing of popcorn. You guys probably know these tins, um, pretty popular gift, but mine is better because mine has puppies on it. So I really think it's adorable. I especially like, let's see where it is, the golden retriever's butt hanging out. I thought that was really cute. So it's got a couple different kinds of popcorn in it, and the really nice thing is, is that it has all the nutrition facts on the bottom. I have gotten like barrels like this, like tubs like this where it doesn't have ingredients listed. That makes me so nervous. So I'm glad that this one did. Um, and then it also came with a gift receipt, I'm assuming, because they knew that it's possible I could be allergic to some of this. But um, I'm not, so I'm excited to enjoy this popcorn because I'm definitely a snacker. So I'm excited for that. And then also excited to keep the tin because I use tins and buckets and boxes and everything and I love storage containers and this one having puppies on it makes it just so much happier. So another thing that I got from my draw person was this adorable ornament. It is a cute little dog. It's kind of easy. They Before I got Arlo and like figured out that I like dogs and was training dogs, they didn't really know what to get me but now it seems like they do. Um, so it's a really soft little Christmas tree ornament. It has a little sweater on it and a little face. I think it's very cute and it's very soft and squishy. They also got me a shirt. I love this shirt. I'm very excited for this shirt. Um, this shirt says, don't make me use my dog training voice. Um, I love that for several reasons because I do have a dog training voice. Um, and I have had to use it on people before, so I'm I love this shirt. This is so funny. Um, it's not just like a plain old shirt that says something like, basically the ones that I have like weekends, dogs, love, or something like that. The ones that they got me are, are pretty like, you know, more educated, so that's nice. Um, and then my grandmother got me a few things, so, um, my grandmother is 
we call her Gigi. She ties like a whole family together. Um, everyone is related to her almost directly. Um, so basically like she's my stepdad's mom and you know it's just she connects everybody. I think we had 40, 49, 48 people in at this family Christmas so it just seemed like a lot. She did get me these. Um, this shirt says dog mom. If you guys don't know I, I have this shirt however I have this shirt in the non-sensory friendly version. <laughs> um, I bought one on Amazon that looks identical to this around the time that I was getting Arlo but I, I wore it to death but I would always have to wear something under it because it wasn't comfortable because there were seams poking out everywhere and stuff. This one is a lot smoother. I'm assuming that she actually got this from a store because I don't think she uses Amazon very much. But then like the seams are all like tailored and everything. They're all um, cut. So it's just, it's very, very nice and light. I'm very excited to wear this shirt um, because my old one I wore to death. Basically I can't wear it anymore anyway, even if it was comfortable. So excited for that because I loved that shirt. That was, I think I was wearing that shirt when I met Arlo, um, which was really sweet. And then also she got me this. Um, my grandmother also doesn't know that much about dogs, but she tries. Um, and she actually got Arlo his first dog bed and everything. So she's, she's really sweet. She's really learning. Um, so she got him this because she said it had a lot of textures on it and I agree with her. This tennis ball is really great for like chewing. This is a great tug toy just in general. I think he'll have a good time chewing on this. He's never had anything like this, like with the spikes on it. So I am excited for that as well. This is so cute. And then it's got a rope and everything. It all seems to be held together pretty well. So I'm excited to have him try that out and see if he likes it. I'm pretty sure he will. I don't know if Arlo has met a toy yet that he does not like. <laughs> and um, I also got Arlo a few things um, myself. Um, I got, I'm not going to show you a few of these just because they're not exciting. Um, they don't look like anything really. I got him a, uh, a food container, a new food container, so this one rolls. Um, <laughs> it was more of a gift to myself than a gift to him. Um, but I got him that because uh, it's really hard for me to move his food around um, in like the container it used to be in, but now this one rolls and it has like a locking top and that's great. Um, so I got him that and then I also got him a new bed and a new bed cover for his crate um, at home because he has a, he's got a really nice setup at school, but at home he just has his like travel crate, like the one that's, that folds up, um, that's cloth so we can take it places um, like traveling and it has a handle and everything compared to like his metal one um, but he didn't have like a bed or anything in, the, in there here he just had like blankets on the floor of his crate so I got him a new bed and I got him a new bed cover wash both of those put those in his crate right away now he's got blankets on the floor and then a bed and then a blanket on the top to like he does this thing where he like burrows into it so he's got his whole setup there. I think that is all I got him um, that I'm not going to show you. Um, what I am going to show you though is what I got him toy wise. Um, he loves antlers but I couldn't afford to get him an antler myself this year. Um, it, they're so expensive. <laughs> so, the stuff that I got him this year I went to the Dane County Humane Society thrift store for. Um, which if you guys have a humane society in your area, you should check to see if they have a thrift store that you can go to um, that would have items that you can use for your dog or your animal because if you buy things from there, most of the proceeds actually go to the humane society in that location. So I always try to go there whenever I need something for Arlo. So, um, I got him this bone that is a Galileo, supposedly. It's a ni it's a very large and weirdly shaped Nyla bone called the Galileo. 
I think it's shaped really weird, but it's really hard. Sorry. Um, it's really hard, and uh, I think that he'll like chewing on it. I also got him kind of a smaller version. I'm thinking this one I'm gonna put in like my work backpack. This is not a bone on it. Doesn't really have any other identifying factors. Just a little bone. Yeah, that's how hard they are, so they make this noise. Yike. Um, and then I got him kind of a, they also had like a knockoff Nylabone Kong there. So I got him one of those because we love freezing our Kongs, so I figured that we can freeze this one and his old one. And just have two of them ready to go. I'm very excited to have that because I've been hoping to get something like a, a system like that going so he could have like a Kong like every other day. Um, and I wouldn't have to keep making them and freezing them right away and have like the actual time to wash them and stuff. So having a second one of these is going to be great. And then not from the Dane County Thrift Store or Dane County Humane Society Thrift Store. This is from where I work. Um, we sell bark box toys now. Very excited about that. So I got him this one that we've been, both of us <laughs> have been eyeing for a while. It is a little Chinese food box. And, it's, and it velcros, and then it opens, and then on the inside are these little guys. They're little dumplings. This one has a winky face. So, um, Arlo also got a few other things for Christmas. Um, so I think those are very cute. Um, him this, uh, I think that I can definitely like hide Kibble so in here too. So get that as well. These guys, but also, um, like, it seems pretty durable. Um, um, and he can and she made it for like, him. So I'm very excited sure for that. He loves the crinkles on the outside. And her, the box so is really well structured. Was, uh, really excited to get that. So I'm um, really excited for him to get some more playtime. This. I brought um, it inside to so come, like, there's dog, that so and then also bit, but... Charlie did get him yeah. a few things Charlie got him this little green Christmas tree it's really crinkly it's got lots of crinkles in it so he loves that and then it also does have a squeaker inside of it so just the perfect altogether amazing Christmas toy uh, he doesn't have any other Christmas themed toys so this Christmas tree is really sweet um, for him as well and Charlie also did get him an antler. So Arlo hasn't had an antler that's like a good size in a long time. Um, so when he got him the antler, um, he was really excited. So I gave it to him and he just, he loved it immediately. He is a huge fan of antlers. He loves to chew on them. So um, this antler was pretty big. I think it'll last him a really long time. So really excited for, uh, for him to have that for um, for a while. We'll see how long it lasts. I'm pretty sure it should last a really long time. Um, Arlo goes through antlers kind of slowly. However, he, he really loves them, so yeah. So, that is, I think, more or less everything I got for Christmas. Yeah. Um, what did you guys get for Christmas? What did you and your dog get for Christmas? Did you get toys, treats? Did you, did, here's what happened for me, is I got a lot of stuff for Arlo that, that was to me, which obviously I don't mind. I love that. In fact, I would much rather get stuff for Arlo than stuff for myself, but, um, it, you know, I just always find it funny when it says, you know, to Brielle, but then it's for Arlo. <laughs> so I think that that's really cute and really blatant of our relationship. Did you Do you have the same sort of experience? Um, do people give you things that are actually for your dogs? What did you and your dogs get for Christmas? How was your Christmas? Did you go anywhere fun? Um, do your dogs like playing in the snow? My dog loves playing in the snow. <laughs> I can never get him to go inside. Do you have white Christmas? I'm trying to think of random questions to ask you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just, I'm getting back on an upload schedule, or trying to, and it's been really stressful, so. 
Um, hoping to have regular content back soon, like regular Tuesdays again, we'll see. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas, um, or whatever holidays you celebrate. Um, hope you had a very happy holidays, and I hope you had a very happy new year, because it is now officially January 1st, 12.32pm. Uh, or am god i get those messed up all the time and it's really embarrassing but it's the truth um it's midnight 32. so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in whatever i make next